now in, inflation is is really high. Are you concerned about a recession? The administration said um, that they weren't, weren't that worried about the in, about inflation, and then that changed. I think that there can be no higher priority than what we have been clear is our highest priority, which is bringing down the costs and the prices as much as we possibly can. And we will stay focused on that. More word salad from Vice President Kamala Harris saying that the administration's main focus is to lower the near record high inflation and energy prices that Americans continue to cope with. Now, for more on this, we have Pennsylvania Congressman and member of the Ways and Means Committee, Lloyd Smucker. Congressman, welcome to Wake America. Good to be with you. Happy uh, Fourth Day. Heck yeah. I'm loving this. So everybody's saying happy 4th of July. It's like music to my ears. So Kamala Harris, all right, you, you've had the, the misfortune to have to work with her on a, on a few occasions, I assume. So she claims the administration is doing everything they can to get the prices down, except drilling, right? Well, exactly. And if uh, you see what they were saying last year at this time, they were uh, claiming victory for the price of July 4th celebrations going down by 16 cents. Uh, today, that's now gone up by $10.18. Um, and so, you know, there's going to be uh, lots of skyrocketing of fireworks going on over the holiday, but I don't know that anything is skyrocketing as much, much as the uh, price increases that we're seeing. And it's affecting people all across the district I represent all across the country who are having trouble buying food and putting food uh, on their plates. So this is a, a serious problem for the American people uh, brought on entirely as you mentioned, by the policies uh, of this administration, uh, their energy policies, uh, supply chain, and, and so on. So let's talk inflation and the interest rate recent increase, which was 75 basis points or, you know, 0.75%. Um, you know, they're saying, well, we're going we're gonna, to you know, help all these people. We're going to print more money. They printed $5 trillion, $6 trillion coming out of COVID, which has now caused the inflation, which now makes the Fed need to raise interest rates like we did under Jimmy Carter up to almost, what, 19.2%. Where do you see us going and how high do you potentially predict those interest rates reaching before we actually see some leveling of this inflation? Well, you're exactly right um, in uh, talking about the, the uh, how high they're going to need to go. I showed a, a chart on the floor of the House uh, in the last week that showed throughout the last 60 or 70 years since World War II, every time the Fed wanted to bring down inflation, and you mentioned this, the late 70s and early 80s as, as the most glaring example of this, they had to take interest rates above the rate of inflation. So our interest rate, uh, the Fed interest rate right now is 1.75 after the three quarter percent they did. And our inflation is about 9% and seemingly rising. And so we've got a long way to go um, in terms of the interest rates that the Fed is gonna have to uh, implement to uh, try to uh, bring a check on inflation. So, you know, I fear there's gonna be some really uh, hard times uh, ahead uh, for the American people, and the Fed is in a in a very very tough uh, spot here as a result of the uh, the Biden policies. Yeah, Congressman, and I, you know I wish I had more time to discuss this, but that basically means like if, if if interest rates go up, let's say they double from what they are currently, you're talking about doubling or tripling mortgage payments for average Americans who have adjustable rates. It's just not sustainable, Congressman. You have a fantastic Fourth of July. I appreciate you being here. Thank you. You too.